Hi. 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 is so cute. She walks from here. Yeah. No. You're walking. You're walking. Yeah. Mama's so proud of you. You're gonna walk very soon. I am on the way to the Founder Made event um, at Spring Studios. I talked about it about a month ago. Um, see you there if you're going. First time I have ever driven down this street. It really is a street that you never go through. And I've been driving I don't even here know. for 30 years. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Hi, how are you? Good, you in the space. Here we go. A particular category or kind of white space in the market that you guys are interested in right now or are looking for kind of development and growth in? I think that there's a wide open space in something I call better wellness. Um, I think wellness right now, the big, big players, when you think about who has a multi-store presence, um, it's someone like Whole Foods, and we also obviously see players like Target starting to get into wellness. But on the better side, um, we do see things like Goop and Credo, um, which are fantastic, but they actually are very limited in terms of their brick and mortar distribution. And I think wellness is one of those categories that does benefit from an in-store experience. So I think starting to think about playing in that space is very interesting to me because I think that the customer um, is gonna start to take the fact that the product is clean and good for them a little bit for granted and is gonna actually start to want to see the products really be beautiful um, in addition to being good for them. Um, a lot of good advice from the anthropology um, manager and um, general manager of beauty. She just walked. Did you see it? She ran across the thing. She walked. Oh. Oh my god. Yay. Did it get it? Yes, it got it. It got it. Yay. Right before 11 months. Yes! Um, I just wanted to come home and be with the baby for a little bit. Just a little beauty touch up before I head out. Alexa, what time is it? My super goop. Ready to go. Joined by Sam Michelle Geller, the co-founder of Foodsters. <laughs> Allie Webb, the founder of Dry Bar. And Kurt Seidensicker, the founder and CEO of Vital Protein. There's a million things that can go wrong. Um, and sometimes we just mess up. Sometimes we're just, you know, we're late, someone's not happy. And I think in, in the early days, hearing those things, I mean, it still is kind of like a dagger to my heart when I hear something like that. But we want to know, and I, and I feel like if you you know if we can get feedback from clients and I'm a big believer in where there's smoke there's fire and if one person is telling me something's going on there's probably a chance it's happening to other women so you know being able to like react and and deal with the with that feedback and take it and, and grow from it learn from it you know I've seen just living my life and being a consumer you know when you tell when oftentimes when you tell a business owner or manager like that something was wrong there's a defensiveness and they're they're just like no it wasn't it's was fine and, or they're just not willing to fix the problem and you know i think my parents had their own business growing up so i i saw my parents really bend over backwards for clients and go the extra mile and they the, the client was always right which was a tough lesson to learn i mean i used to watch my parents in the store and they had this like little old lady boutiques in south florida retirement land and they, I would see how some of these women would treat like my mom, and my mom would just like 
say I'm really sorry, I will make this right, even if the woman was like crazy. But you know, it was that like mentality of like, you bend over backwards, you, you fix the problem, and you ha you are the business, and if you want your business to succeed, that's what you have to do. So for me, it's been, it's been such an interesting lesson, learning that like, you know, the customer is always right, fix the problem, and, and, and that's how you will learn and grow, and ultimately, I, I believe, keep your business going. This is for Ariel's birthday coming up. Guess what's in this box that my dad shipped? It's day two of CDS and I'm on the way to see two talks today. Casual. Getting a chai latte before I get in a cab. Someone sitting right there. Um, I don't think so. Oh, hi! I know you. How, How are, are you? you? <laughs> Good it's to see so you. Long. I know. Spontaneously, and we're at the front row. We're the most eager kids in class, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, she was at my yoga glow three years ago, or two years ago. I don't know, like, yeah, it was two while. years ago. And I had everybody write letters to themselves, and she actually got the letter, so I'm very excited. It kind of freaked me out because I saw my handwriting. Uh, and I was like, oh my god, who has like the exact same thing as oh me? My gosh, and then I opened it up and then I remembered it was from your event. It's your friend. Are you a media? I was filming them, I would have my friend, we'd go work out, and I'd say, can you film me after the workout? And then I just always felt guilty that they were always like, okay, let's go, I'll film you again. Um, and I just felt like a bad friend, so I literally had to hire a production team, and we would we would literally do hair makeup and film 50 videos in a day, edit them, and do all that stuff. So, you know, it, it's that, that work work that looks like effortless. Yeah. My name is Danielle, I'm co-founder of Sakara Life. We deliver plant-based nutrition to people all over the country in the form of ready-to-eat meals or snacks and supplements. Uh, we are direct-to-consumer, so we deliver to you individually. Um, every ready-to-eat meal is delivered straight to your door or office. The one thing I think I wish I would have known, uh, early on we knew the the power of seduction, so I have to seduce you into basically taking care of yourself. And we did a very good job at that. But what I don't think we did a good job of and what we're going to do a great job of over the next few years is really amplifying user-generated content because I can tell you until I'm blue in the face how important it is and how life-changing it is to eat this way every single day. But when you hear it from somebody else and you hear it from someone that you look up to or a friend, that really, really moves the needle. And when you think about referrals, uh, that's been a huge part of, of our growth and our trajectory. But where we haven't really amplified that is in the digital space. My first company in auto parts, that's a whole separate story. <laughs> it was very fun and successful and um, sold that company and then started another company in the culinary space. Um, and used to host a food show on NBC Local on the weekends, which is very fun. Um, Love to cook, sidebar. And then started another company called Send the Trend, which is in the fashion, accessories, and beauty space. And I raised venture funding for that company and then sold it 11 months later to QVC. I ran digital innovation at QVC for two and a half years and then realized after having two kids that I really wanted to start a beauty company because I got up every single morning to go to work with my two children under the age of two. I don't recommend that, it's a lot of work. Um, and I had literally 30 seconds to get ready, and that 30 seconds was usually heard on the subway on the way to work <laughs> um, between checking emails. And I realized I didn't have anything in my beauty bag that would help me do that. And I really love beauty. I'm like all about simple, effortless beauty. And there was a huge white space in the market for women who are time starved, active, and busy, um, like myself, a lot of working professionals, moms, double whammy, both of those. 
um, and decided to create Wander Beauty with my co-founder, Lindsay Ellingson. We launched it two years ago, and we focus on multitasking beauty essentials. Everything is great to take on the go, to be gorgeous on the go. This idea, you know, I know I want to get... I guess close to nine years ago. It's so I'm leaving the event and my husband is here. It's raining. You're so handsome in your car. It is low, it's only Saturday. Got a haircut. I told you, right? No. Auntie Elise is here. Oh, my battery. Oh, awesome. <laughs> One of my best You're friends like, is here. She's going to the airport after this. I'm sorry, you walk away. I have to walk. Ariel. Are you 11 weeks or months? Here, hold this. Come to mama. Mm. <laughs> wow. Okay, now to mama. Yes, come. Yeah. Good. Uh. So going out now, I am, uh, for the past few weeks, um, been planning Ariel's birthday and I'm on my way out to um, touch up on some details on the upcoming birthday party. <laughs> Hop because I always say hi Poochie so she nicknamed her Hop. She thinks her name is Hapuchi. Hi Poochie. Hi Poochie. Hi Poochie. Hop. Is that Hop? Hop. Hi Hop. She hops around like a bunny. Hello. I didn't realize we have a very similar outfit. No. No, it's okay. that we're matching me and my babe <laughs> 